Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chowhound. Today I'm meeting award-winning chef George Mendez at his Michelin-starred restaurant Aldea. This is the authority in Portuguese modern cuisine here in New York City. I believe that canned sardines deserve to be appreciated, and nobody does this better than the Portuguese. That's why I asked Chef Mendez to teach me how to make an elevated dish that celebrates this little fish in a tin. Let's go. I think Americans really use canned sardines as much as they should. They think <laughs> of it as like the leftover thing in the pantry that they can use when they don't want to cook anything. For the cat, for the cat to go jump out and Basically, rub up through the uh, garbage. It's like left in the bottom of the pantry for the end of the world to happen <laughs> or something. So today you're gonna show me how to make a, an elevated a dish using these guys. So tell me a little bit about this dish. Yeah, so when I think of sardines and pairing them with something, my mind always goes to peppers, probably because of my childhood. Uh, my mother was always blistering green peppers on the charcoal grill with Kingstone charcoal. It's, it's, it's in my bones, in my DNA. My favorite brand of, of canned sardine is this Porthos brand that's been around for a very long time, in 1912 the largest canning company in all of Portugal when it comes to preservation of sardines. So I chose to you know, start blistering some peppers. I chose red peppers, just to have a little bit brighter color. Um, and for me, we're just gonna build a salad. It's focusing on the charcoal, charred, blackened, sweet, um, a little pepperiness of the bell pepper, but it's got a nice balance. And then we're gonna add a, you know, some parsley leaves and some nice crisp romaine lettuce to it. And then this, the, the canned sardines will just be like this backbone echoing, like fermented funkiness to the whole salad, which I think brings it all together. That sounds amazing. I'm already salivating thinking yeah. about this dish. So I've got my peppers are pretty much charred all the way around. Um, I'm gonna put this into the bowl and I'm gonna let them steam. It's basically you're letting them finish cooking after taking them off the fire, Yeah, right? as you can see, they start to collapse. Uh, they are still cooking, they're extremely hot in the center. Um, and then the steam is gonna loosen the char from the skin and we're able to peel it a lot easier. Uh, so chef, for home cooks who are trying or who are going to attempt to char peppers uh, in their kitchens, yeah. what can they do if they don't have the option of using the coals? Yeah, so, most, most people will have a, um, an oven at home that you can set to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Just take a cookie sheet um, or half sheet pan, wash your peppers, toss them in some olive oil and some a generous amount of sea salt or kosher salt, and then lay them flat on the cookie pan. Blast them in the oven. Turn them every five to 10 minutes or so until you have a nice you know, blackened char like that. So, yeah, I love that smell. Yeah, that's starting to smell. So these have been sitting in there and you can see that using a, the, a spoon or even a back of a knife and a little bit of your hands, you can just try to scrape. And that's how we easy the skin just peels off. Exactly. Let's just take the stem off. I'll open them up flat. So when you're removing the veins the and the seeds from the pepper, what's yep. the idea there? Basically texture. I mean, the, the seeds are completely edible. They definitely have that pepperiness to them and have a little bit of a crunch just for refinement. And like, as you'll see is I won't take 100% of the black char off because I love that little flavor. I'm gonna do another one, but open it up. Sometimes you get a little green <laughs> pepper going in there. Where are we now in the in the assembly of the dish? So we have our peppers peeled, charred, and ready to cut and start building our salad with the sardines. So at this point, um, I mean, you can cut the peppers however you wish. I cut them in half, and then I'm gonna just cut them into strips, kind of kind of mimic the fillets of the sardines mm. that eventually that we're gonna add. And this, this is something that I like to do maybe even a day or even two days before I'm actually gonna make and eat the salad. Okay. That's where the, the sardines can kind of macerate, marinate with the olive oil and then the vinegar of choice. So it's a, it's a good two to three tablespoons of olive oil that I'm gonna let them sit with. And the vinegar. And the vinegar. So it's as if I'm like pickling the peppers. So what kind of vinegar are we using? We went with uh, sherry vinegar. Nice sprinkle of some sea salt. 
another layer of, of flavor that I, can, I like to add to this is a sprinkle of, um, of smoked paprika, which is paprika is mm -hmm. made from a, from a pepper. It's a powder. It gives another dimension of smokiness and, and flavor. Taste that. Give that a whirl and give it. So yeah, I bet the longer you keep this together, all the flavors are well incorporated. Oh, that tastes delicious. Yeah. Already, and that hasn't been sitting there for nothing in like right. two minutes. To that, we're gonna start building our, our salad. We're gonna use some romaine hearts. Beautiful. And you can kind of get creative with how you wanna cut them. Give them some nice little triangular cuts. With that, I'm gonna add some whole leaves of parsley for a nice herbal touch. So here's the unveiling. Oh, uh, yeah. Very neatly packed, sitting in a brine. That's a perfect fillet. Yeah, and what I could do here is I literally take them off the bone. You see the bone still in the center. Oh yeah. Which from the brine, the, the bone, you can almost eat it. It's become so brittle. Yeah, I was gonna say, my experience with canned sardines, I eat the whole thing. But this is a nice way to like clean up. Yeah, those. I'm just cleaning them up a little bit more. You can totally, so flavorful. In terms of preserving, like yep. for example, in this case, we're just making a plate for us to try this. Yeah. If you're saving the rest of the sardines, yeah. what's what's the tip? What should I mean, people do? I would definitely keep them in the brine. In, in the brine, absolutely. That's the way, the best way to preserve them. Um, the minute you take them out of the brine and you put them on a plate and you put them in the fridge, now you've introduced oxygen to it. I would totally keep them right in the tin and just wrap them really tightly with plastic wrap again. We have our peppers marinating. We have our little mixture here to this. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna dress it up, season it as well. Some of our olive oil. Also, an important part is you see all this, which is part of the dressing, and, and it's literally the juices of the of the peppers mm -hmm. have leaked out from when we cut them. That's a lot of flavor. You don't want to leave that behind. That's perfect. Yeah. This, I mean, just in and itself, just a romaine. For people that might not like peppers, you have a nice little salad right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a great vinaigrette. Yeah. Some salt. Some fresh milled white pepper. The way I like to build this is I'll literally take a little base of our bell peppers first, and then our mixture of Romaine lettuce with the sardines. And for people who want to be healthy, this is a pretty great dish. It doesn't get any more healthy. It doesn't get, yeah. yeah. And then our star ingredient, more flecks of sardine. So this is like the kind of thing that somebody at home can do this, really impress people, and then be like, surprised. The main ingredient are canned sardines. Funky fresh. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna call it funky fresh. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it, man. Try to yeah, well, get, get, get a, a bite bit of, of, get everything. of everything in there. Mm. That's delicious. Nice chunk of sardines, funkiness, sweet, smoky from the peppers. Layers of texture. Layers of texture, herbaceousness from the parsley, freshness of the, of the romaine lettuce. It's a really fun light salad. Yeah, that's perfect. Nice, nice, healthy, light lunch. There you go. Anybody trying to stay healthy, it's perfect. We good? Are there any other sound bites you think we need? Or... I think the peppers... We need to sing a song in Portuguese for it to be proper. Will you teach me a song in Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> Sardine song.